再次祝福您在二零零七年活得更健康，过得更富裕，笑得更灿烂。Semoga tahun baru ini semua harapan dan impian anda jadi kenyataan. Yutam yilada yil konjum bumiye nadu bo. 올해는 굉장히 희망차고 모든 일들이 바라시는 대로 다 이루어졌으면 좋겠고요. 아주 따뜻한 한 해를 보내시길 바랍니다. 매년 바공 다원, 사나이 마비기한 개요는 바공 스물아, 바공 파가사, 아트포지티봉 파나나우 스무하이. I wish everyone good health, peace and happiness. Everybody wishes for something or other. As the bell rings at the beginning of a new year, make a wish that will brighten someone else's life. From all of us at Channel News Asia, have a very happy new year. Talk to me, talk to me. If you feel the need or when you need the feeling, talk to me. If you feel the need or when you need the feeling, talk to me. Hello everyone, I'm Timothy Go and welcome to a brand new season of That's IT, the holiday season if you want. And this time around, we're going to show you a lot more technologies that we need. Technologies we've always wanted, technologies we don't even know we want, technologies we can use at work or at play. Technologies that may intrigue our senses and of course, technologies at a bargain. Well, there's just one more week to go before Christmas. I'm not sure about you, but it looks like I'm going to have to rush my Christmas shopping. Scientifically, shopping can be very therapeutic. A research study shows the concept of buying something for yourself, peering into a beautifully decorated display, or the satisfaction of finding that impossible to get item that you've always wanted will trigger the release of brain chemicals that will boost our mood and make us feel better. This can be totally engaging and so very rewarding. <sighs> Although this is therapeutic for the brain, all this shopping is wearing me out. Hmm, can I hire someone to do my shopping? What about if they build one great big supermarket with everything I want near my place? Could there be other ways to shop? This guy has found one way to go shopping, but without the queues, the noise, the stress, and the sweat. Melvin is one of many Singaporeans who've adopted an e-shopping lifestyle. He shops online for almost everything he buys. He's 34 years old, works in an IT company, and is a bass guitar freak. At night, he turns pro musician playing at different clubs throughout the week. But what are the pros and cons of shopping online? I don't think I'm the typical online shopper because I, I'm a very hardcore base collector, so my bases are very expensive. On average, on the, over the past 12 months, maybe I spent about three, 4000 a month on my guitars. For example, I mean, this, this base behind is one of those, it's a Sepodera base, it's, it's really high end, it's very coveted. So I got this used for about 8K sing. So. I mean, there's a lot of money and I don't earn that much a month. So I had to take, you know, sell something, get some funds just to feed this, uh, this uh, passion. At the peak of his online shopping obsession, Melvin owned about 70 guitars. It's down to 25 guitars now, but just over the last three years, he spent close to 50,000 US dollars on his continuing bass guitar buying frenzy. Evelyn are two girls who'd sympathize. They were also hooked when they started three years ago. We took a peek at her wardrobe and found about 300 outfits, all bought online. Ever since, um, yeah, four years ago, I used to go to Orchard to like buy a lot of stuff. And when I discovered there was an auction site, I just online I like like I just stay home and shop all day because it's like um, it's where I see myself like as a unique person 
and not like just any ordinary person who is always wearing the same things like you can see someone else on the street. Yeah. prefer to shop online because there's, there's like no crowds, no hassle and you can shop at peace. Like there's nobody to bother you. Yeah. If I don't control it, if I have nothing to do on a Saturday, I can spend eight hours just surfing, looking for things to buy. Because apart from guitars, okay, for example, I'm going to have a, my baby girl soon. Even like the breast pumps and everything, I, I buy from eBay. The, the point is um, price. Somehow, for certain products, Singapore retailers, they mark up a lot. Uh, for example, the Medela, the high-end one, they, they're charging about $700. I can buy a brand new set from eBay, 240 US. Even if you ship in 100 bucks, it's still less than what you get here. Although online shopping is about the convenience and the availability of a wide range of products at your fingertips, online shopaholics still feel that nothing can beat having a good bargain. But how do online shops maintain their competitive prices? We checked in on one local online shop set up by a young group of programmers and web designers. We are able to maintain our overhead at a very minimum. How we do that is very simple. We are programmers ourselves, so the servers, the softwares we use, everything is customized. We run our whole business basically using GPL softwares. As such, our overheads are very low. And if you notice, there are very core people who are running the business, it's only five. The other three people who are actually running this business together with us, actually working from home. So we cut down on our overheads in this means. So by maintaining our, our overhead lower, Okay, and using the latest software that we know of, because we are programmers, we're able to not increase the staff, which will uh, in hand increase the overheads, but to maintain the staff and keep on upgrading our software to enable us to manage better. Okay, by doing so, we're able to maintain our costs at a lower price. Coming up next, I'll show you another place where you can get some bargains or even earn some money. But first, it's our turn to make some money. To me. Tonight, Branding Singapore plies into the heart of seven Singapore brands that run their service with a difference from childcare to healthcare, from where we live to how we live. Take a peek into the brands that have created a niche for themselves through unique brand images and promises that pull off. Branding Singapore is brought to you by main sponsor City Business Citibank, the official cognac Martel, co-organised by ASME and Lian He Taobao, and supported by the following partners. Only Hitachi unleashes the true power and beauty of plasma. Introducing the world's highest resolution 42-inch plasma TV. Well, let's just say you uh, ran out of money for that all-important holiday that you deserve. There's actually a place where you can make some money back from that old hi-fi set sitting at home. And that place is a marketplace. Well, in this case, more likely the virtual marketplace. Like eBay, a great big mega mall, jumble sale and flea market all rolled into one. There's definitely a lot of buying and selling going on here, but to make it all run smoothly, eBay had to find ways to protect us eBay provides a global online trading platform for buyers and sellers all around the world to trade with one another. We have listing policies in place that provide guidelines um, to sellers on what they can or cannot sell. Um, we also work with law enforcement agencies um, and government agencies to enforce policies that are relevant to the country. We have buyer protection programs to safeguard the buyers from fraud. So 99.99% .99 of all transactions that go on eBay um, are without problems. Occasionally, when there are problems, buyers are protected by the buyer protection program. In Singapore, that amount is up to 330 Singapore dollars. And if you buy internationally and you pay via PayPal, you can also um, get the PayPal protection program that's up to 1,000 US dollars. We have a feedback system 
where after, um, after a, a transaction is completed, buyers and sellers can give each other a feedback. It could be neutral, it could be positive, it could be new, um, negative. And basically that determines the reputation of a buyer or seller. And what we advise buyers or sellers to do is before they close a transaction with a particular person, to check on the person's feedback score and um, feedback comments that other people that, that have traded with them have given them. And that gives you a good indication of the trustworthiness of the, the person you are trading with. eBay Singapore was set up to further expand eBay's global footprint in Asia and also to uh, provide the current community, the existing and growing community with um, a dedicated website to better equip them to buy from and sell to the world. eBay is about getting the best bargain. It's all about, mainly about price. I mean, you want to buy new, uh, there are other online music stores you can buy new all the time. But eBay is about somehow there'll be somebody in the world selling the thing you want at a price that is very attractive. Yeah, so the trick is to be there when he lists it. Yeah, so it's definitely about price. Sometimes the problem I have is when you have a complaint, it's, it's going by email. You don't, you don't get to speak to a person. So the, the response may be slow and it's very canned, very standard yeah, response. Online, you cannot, you cannot compare to a, a face, a person you, you you meet at the store when you complain, but when you come to email, it's, it's not that. It's something you got to bear with. You. The online marketplace is not only a place for teenagers or the computer savvy adult, it's also a great place to meet the stars. No, wait, not that kind of stars. I'm talking about celebrities because celebrities do go to the market too. Hi, I'm May, and I'm Troy. Hey, everybody, welcome to Popping. May and Troy are two of the many celebrities who shop online. They are identical twins, and they are presently the host of MTV Asia. eBay recently appointed them as their style ambassador because of their fun, energetic, and stylish image. Probably for over a year right now, I started last year, I was trying to look for this DVD, and I couldn't get it in any shops in uh, Asia. So I thought, why not just try eBay, and I found it, and I got it. So since then, been a big fan of it. <laughs> but prior to eBay, we also were shopping on, um, we bought a lot of air tickets online, we were reserving a lot of hotels online. Mm -hmm. So maybe about a good year, year and a half. It's very convenient, very easy. You can shop from anywhere, your home, from your work. You can be in any part of the world. Just go to turn on your computer, internet, you can shop. You get, especially with eBay, you get a lot of variety of things mm -hmm. that you can't even find locally. You can find from around the world. Um, it's very accessible, like I said. It's got, got good value as well. So it's, it's really great. It's really, yeah. it, it saves beating the lineups in the store or <laughs> just lazy to go very out. True, yeah. you, know, you go just go to eBay and shop. <laughs> Every day, <laughs> we're always searching for for new things every day, online. Yeah. Yes, every day. Um, we're not addicted. It's not a, a good one, two hours. Mm. You know, kind of like before you go to bed, see what's new. Put it on the watch list, and then you wake up in the morning. You still want it? You buy it. So, what have May and Joy bought for Christmas? Well, we can, just can finished I Christmas. Yeah, you talking about Christmas shopping list. We just finished our Christmas shopping list for our family. We bought our dad. This is the most unique item we've ever bought because in the past, shopping for Christmas is always like, okay, I'll go to the store two, three days before, I'll window shop. Okay, that shirt's nice or that's nice, whatnot, you know. But this time it's like, okay, let's get dad something so unique that you never think he would get it from us. So what we got was, our dad's a huge fan of Marilyn Monroe. So we found this beautiful autograph photo of her. It's a authentic. genuine, authentic autograph picture of Marilyn Monroe with some film stills, right? Movie stills in it. So it came in and my dad's gonna go, what's this, you know? But yeah, it's so unique, you know? What else can you get for, for him that has Marilyn Monroe's, you know, autograph? autograph. Yeah, it's a very, yeah, so apparently really when she died, he, he was very sad. <laughs> so, so yeah. He would like this. So with with the kind of people that when we buy gifts for somebody, we observe their behavior, their characteristics, their hobbies, what they like. So instead of this Christmas time when we're like, okay, that's nice, that will, they will like that. We wanted to go a bit different and get something from around the world that they'll never get in Singapore or, or in Malaysia, something unique, and they'd be like, wow, this is different and nice. For our mom and stepdad, we got them cotton ropes from Egypt. So who can say I'm wearing cotton ropes from Egypt? You know. So yeah, something different. <laughs> And the hottest thing online now is? iPod Nanos are definitely very hot. Um, well, spring summer is coming up, so I think a lot of the new range of clothing, 
Um, I think shoes are very popular too, you know, because very. I think co coming from where we live here, there are certain brands that we cannot access. So that day I was trying to find these Christian Louboutin shoes and I was like, wow, you know, the selection was just endless and Jimmy Choo bags, you know, so things you think you, oh, I can never get it, I gotta travel to the States or to UK, you find it online, you know, so it's really, really awesome. It's fantastic. It's fantastic, yeah. It depends on the size of the product. If it's a really big um, case, like we just, we, um, we're gonna be getting these big toys from the States for our godchildren. So they're gonna be costing quite in the 30, 40 range. So yeah, but if it's a small item, it's not too bad. If you really want it, you will pay for the shipping cost. Yeah. We can't get it in Singapore because it's so unique and different, you see. Well, we usually have to spend an extra 30, 40 dollars just to have an item sent from the United States. Thank you. But that could be twice as much as what you would pay for a book like this. I mean, it sounds unreasonable, but there's actually a cheaper way of getting things online. Talk to me. And Ferguson on the 17th. Oh, that's trouble. Nothing is lost with the full HD 1080p Aquos from Sharp. Well, if you're buying overseas, the cost of shipping can make you think twice about that purchase. And depending on where you buy from, the delivery costs can be a little steep. Vpost is one of the companies focused to simplify and assist the delivery and shipping of your valuable products at a competitive price. They also provide a service where users can actually buy online without the use of a credit card. Vpost is a shopping and shipping solution for online uh, if you want to shop throughout the world. And when we say throughout the world, we're really referring to USA websites, merchants from USA. We also offer the services for merchants in Japan. Uh, we've just recently introduced Korea, New Zealand and China. Our shopping and shipping solutions basically, you shop at any websites in the US that accept an international credit card. And uh, we provide you with a shipping address that you can send your stuff there we consolidate all the orders from you and other online shoppers and we ship it back. So in so doing, you can enjoy up to as much as 20% savings in shipping charges. We have another service called V-Concierge and that's particularly useful for consumers who uh, for some reasons don't own a credit card or they do not want to use their credit card uh, online or there are certain websites uh, or merchants that thoroughly do not accept international credit cards. Now, we concierge is that service for you, meaning that you just search the website and tell us uh, which item you want, you know, the model, the size, the colour, and the price that you're willing to pay for it. What we do is that we will contact the website, lock in the price, calculate how much it costs to ship back from, Singapore, uh, from US to Singapore, and let you know in advance. If you give us a go-ahead and you pay up for the service, we will bring the product to you. So it's really a concierge service for these customers. Now, while you're enjoying a shopping trip out there, there may be certain things I have to remind you of. The online marketplace is very crowded, and it's a good idea to take better care of your personal belongings. Just to make your online shopping experience a little bit more worthwhile, there are some precautions you'll have to take. Security threats used to be driven by fame and glory. But recently, it has been growing into an organized crime market. Attackers target vulnerable users who do business online. So when shopping online, we need to bear in mind some safety precautions. 
from a consumer's point of view to stay safe, there are some pretty simple tips that I can give you. Um, first thing is absolutely make sure you back up your PC regularly in case the worst thing happens. Second is make sure you have up-to-date security software and make sure your subscription is valid so you're getting all the threat definitions. Uh, third thing is manage your passwords carefully. Don't make them obvious. Try and mix uh, numerals with characters, for example, and change them regularly. And the last piece of advice I have is manage your email particularly spam. If you see an email coming from someone you don't know, don't open it. And if you must open it, absolutely never follow a link to a web page and never open an attachment. With the new behaviors by hackers uh, trying to steal personal information for financial gain, they're absolutely looking for your login, for your bank account, for your credit card information. So we produced a new product, totally new called Norton Confidential. And it protects your online transactions. Even if you have no other antivirus or, or uh, firewall software on your computer, you can be sure that your online transaction is safe. It does that in four ways. Firstly, it makes sure that the web page that you go to is the one that it purports to be. Second one, it makes sure that you're not on a fraudulent web page. Thirdly, it does a quick scan to make sure there's no malicious software running on your system. And lastly, it encrypts and manages your passwords carefully for you. Well, that is a fun and profitable way to shop. And now with my bank account back to a healthy level, it's time for me to plan for my well-deserved holiday. Hmm, let me see what travel offers there are for a trip to Istanbul. Zuji is one of the many online travel agencies that will help busy users like myself to plan for my holiday trip. With just a few clicks, I can compare the prices of my air tickets and hotel rates online. Prices can also be made available to me through the new mobile service offered by Zuji. After I have decided what I want, all I need to do is to acknowledge, and it's done. Well, behind Zuji, we've got a sophisticated e-commerce engine that connects to 400 different airlines and 72,000 hotels worldwide. So through this connectivity, it allows us to access the hotel rooms, the airline seats, as well as the pricing automatically and immediately. Increasingly, we see a new type of travellers, the independent travellers. Gone are the good old days when people would travel at a bus of 40, see the same thing, eat the same thing, and take the same photographs. Nowadays, consumers want to be independent. Uh, they want to create their own travel experiences. They want to go off the beaten track. Um, and this whole mentality of wanting to discover a destination on your own, um, it's about control, it's about empowerment. And consumers are wanting to take that level of control into their travel buying and purchase behavior. And that's why the internet suits that independent traveler mentality because you get to choose from a full range of 400 airlines, 72,000 hotels. You can check out the hotels on your own. Is this good for other travelers? And this whole control idea is really fueling online travel in Singapore as well as around Asia. With nearly everything that you can buy at your fingertips anytime, any day, there is no reason we shouldn't try shopping online. But shopping online can be a bad experience if you're not well informed, and it can be pretty addictive. So any last words to our viewers from our style ambassadors? It's the thing with eBay, we will definitely attract not just children, but I think all ages as well. You yeah. see that it's a convenient, easy and safe way to shop. You can get anything for anybody at any age, any gender, anything. You can just get anything. If you think of something that you can even, you think about years ago, I, I liked that movie or I liked, you know, this particular sunglasses and you type it online, you can actually find it. What we found was we were, we were big fans of um, the Mind Your Language TV series and we found the DVD online. We're like, oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, and I used to be a huge fan of My Little Pony. Do you remember My Little Pony? My Little Pony? Yeah, I found the whole DVD set, so I'm really happy. <laughs> So just old story. cartoons that I could never get, I can finally get it online So if now. they want to reminisce their childhood from 20 years ago, you can find the DVD online, for example, something yeah. like that. I don't buy toys, but you know, I was a huge fan of Little Pony, the Smurfs, you know, you can get all that online, so good! <laughs> a good way to reminisce your childhood, I would say. Yeah. Or anything mm. else, or your parents' genre, you can find vintage pictures or antiques or clothes, you can find anything you want online, mm. it's great. And most importantly is research, 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 offline and online. So if you want that particular bag, go to the store, check it out, have a feel, know the model number, and then come online and get it, you know. So research and just good judgment.
that's the most important and thing. And always make sure the seller has PayPal. That's the safest way. It's through eBay. You will guarantee there won't be any infringement of your credit card and things like that. But it's a it's community way. It's fantastic. You can be, you know, on a business trip somewhere or you're on a holiday with your family and you, you're rushing home to get a gift. You just want to find something quick. You just go online, type in what you want. You can find it. It could be shipped to you in probably 10 days or more. And you avoid queues, the Christmas crowds. Exactly. It just turns at your doorstep and voila, you have a Christmas present ready for you. Or birthday or Valentine's for that matter. <laughs> There, my trip to Istanbul is all confirmed. I'm going to go do something that I can't do online, and that is pack my bags. But do remember, you decide what you want to buy and how you want to buy it. I'm Timothy Go. That's it. Let us know what you think and anything else you'd like to know. Visit us at channelnewsasia.com slash that's IT. Hello everyone, I'm Timothy Go, and welcome to That's IT. This week we're going to have a look at Singapore's Wi-Fi initiative. Beginning January next year, public places will offer high-speed internet connectivity. Wireless at SG is an initiative by Singapore's Infocom Development Authority and it will be run and developed by three local wireless service providers. So, everyone can start surfing high-speed wireless internet for free. Internet users in Singapore can go online for free at hundreds of Wi-Fi hotspots island-wide beginning this month. It is rolled out by three service operators, Singtel, QMAX Communications, and iCell Network. You can surf the net at public places like shopping malls, town centers, and business district. And this means you can surf the web, make an internet call, or watch a video on your laptop all for free. Operators have not said whether they will continue the free service after this, but competition may just drive them to. The three operators will come together to push Wi-Fi as a uh, wireless broadband to a lot of consumers, get them get used to use Wi-Fi as one corporation. But in terms of competition, we'll then be selling our premium services, be it voice over IP, be uh, advertisement or other like broadband TV. The service operators say response has been encouraging, and no wonder. All they need to know is that what is their mobile phone number, enter it and they will be signed on. iCell Network, QMAX Communications and Singtel are running the service. All three operators are actually working very closely to make sure that the operation goes on smoothly. Uh, I would expect that there might be some hiccups here and there, and we encourage the users to, or the subscribers to actually feedback to each of the operators. The operators are each targeting at least 100,000 users in the first year and 250,000 users by December 2008. 5,000 wireless zones are expected to dot Singapore by September of 2007. Meanwhile, they are still looking at various ways of making the service commercially viable. Others are looking at value-added services and advertisements to generate revenue. Ecoshias is basically targeted at customers' locations. So if they're in Orchard Road, you'll receive Orchard Road information that's tailored to them. Basically, if they like fashion, we're looking at sending them information once they log in about what is the latest discount or what's the latest promotion in Orchard Road on particular fashion. Maybe for the first phase, we'll be giving you some free magazines, online magazines, uh, free comics, right? at least to let you test what you can do online. There's a lot of questions that's been posed by the public, especially when we are dishing out the free uh, gift packs lately, especially over SciTax. Common questions are, you know, what exactly is Wireless SG? Are you really giving out a three-year free plan? The Wi-Fi initiative is part of a 10-year match.